Hello, I'm Rivian, and this is Darksiders. This video is sponsored by THQ Nordic. Thank you to them for giving me a great excuse for going back to replay Darksiders, finally start on Darksiders 2, and then eventually try out Darksiders 3. I'm going to be making four videos on Darksiders 1, four videos on Darksiders 2, and then finally we'll be playing Darksiders 3. I'm very excited to do this, so let's get started. Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Chard Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws. For none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between Heaven and Hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. I am war, and these are the poor bastards I'm going to destroy. Welcome to Darksiders War Master Edition. Come 
Come on, big boy. You and me. All right. You asked for this. They know me, they know who I am, they know what I mean. And apparently they're foolish enough to stand in my way. At the very least, they should be smart enough to wait until I'm not in chaos form. Recognize that voice. That is Liam O'Brien, voice actor of Illidan from World of Warcraft, and of course, Kelly Wittergast and Vaxeldan from Critical Role. We have a little bit more time taking a look at what war looks like. And the sword on his back. This is Chaos Eater. Your justice is at hand. The apocalypse has come to the earth, and that means I have come to the earth. And both angels and demons think they can stand in my way. It's a bad idea. A really bad idea. I'd run if I were you. Sometimes even Horseman of the Apocalypse has to do some boring stuff, like climbing a wire. Well, that's just rude, interrupting me while I'm climbing. What a lovely looking place. Shame about all the demons.
use the great range of the sword. Make sure I get all these. Chaos everywhere. I guess this is pretty much where I'm meant to be. That skull on the minimap indicates some fun. I'm just gonna throw that car at you guys, hope you don't mind. In fact, if you don't mind, your justice is at hand. We will not yield. That's okay. I don't need you to yield. I just need you to stay on the ground. Good. Well, the earth has never looked quite so demonic. have you done? I answer the call. Welcome to the first boss fight on the game. And the best way to deal with this guy is to throw cars at his face. How about you leave me alone? And just let me kill you. Whoops. Well, I paid for that. That's more like it. Better if I stay closer to him in the beginning. Okay, that's 
I'm standing here, man. You can you can take it easy. I prefer that. I need a car to throw at his face. Or this is gonna hurt real bad. That hit me anyway. There we go. I'll grab this one. He's too far away for me to hit with my sword. Just keep dodging until we get more cars to throw. Thanks, buddy. Throw it in his belly this time. Alright, here we go. He really doesn't like it. I wanna hit him in his face. I wish I could hit him here. I can a little bit. Oh, but he can hit me back. So I may wanna play this a little bit more careful. Come on, friend. Give me some cars. Right in the head. <laughs> this is not good. Law has been broken. And so have you, the horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail, and the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth. 
but you will be watched. Come forth. You may have recognized the voice of the Watcher. You may have not. Chaos Eater. The angry blade thirsts for destruction. It's Mark Hamill. Voice of... Luke Skywalker, and of course, more importantly, the Joker. I've got my sword back, and first of my abilities, Blade Geyser. My first Wrath Power. The souls of the dead will be your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. Souls. Blue souls, green souls, and yellow souls. Seek the demon Vulgrim. Few can afford his services, but perhaps you can strike a bargain. The council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Vulgrim is one such outcast. Has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Good boy. And so the actual game begins. This is where the journey, the adventure takes its start. Brought down to next to nothing, war begins his path to redemption, well, to something. I'm looking forward to rediscovering it from what I've played so far. There's a couple of more videos coming on Darksiders 1, then we'll be moving on to Darksiders 2, before, at the end of the month, I finally get to play Darksiders 3. I'm excited. I hope you are too. So until then, goodbye.